Hello, I'm Luis de Mantecajon and this is my video response for gas loss number two. So for gas loss number two, we were given five problems and we were tasked to choose one problem among those five and I chose problem number two for my video response. So solve for a 5.5 liter chamber reactor that was monitored having an overall pressure of 4.8 atm. The reactor contains 4.50 mol of oxygen, 5.50 mol of chlorine, and 7.93 mol of fluorine. So determine the partial pressure of fluorine assuming all gases are inert. So from the sentence determine the partial pressure of fluorine, the appropriate law that we can use for this problem is Dalton's law of partial pressure. So identification and solving. So again, as I've said earlier, the appropriate law that we can use for this problem is Dalton's law of partial pressure. So there are steps in getting our answer. So this, so for this step one, is we need to identify what is being asked. So, so in step one, I am tasked to look for the partial pressure of the fluorine gas. So step two, is we need to identify what is given. So the given is the total pressure of 4.8 atm and the reactor contains 4.50 moles of oxygen, 5.50 moles of chlorine, and 7.93 moles of fluorine. We also have the volume which is 5.5 uh, liters but but we, we only need to look for the partial pressure, so we don't need to involve the volume. We can disregard that. So for step 3, we need to write the working equation. So solve for the fraction, then determine the pressure of fluorine. So the total number of moles equals to n sub a plus n sub b plus n sub c, and the mole fraction equals to n sub a over the total number of moles equals the pressure over the total pressure. So for step 4, we need to substitute the given values of the equation that I've said earlier. So the total number of moles equals to n sub a plus n sub b plus n sub c substituted to 4.50 moles of oxygen plus 5.50 moles of chlorine plus 7.93 moles of fluorine. So as we add 4.50, 5.50, and 7.93, we will get 17.93 mole. So for the mole fraction, we need to substitute the uh, moles of fluorine and the total number of moles, which is N uh, number of uh, uh, moles of fluorine over the total number of moles. So, therefore, it will equal to 7.93 moles of fluorine over 17.93 moles, or 7.93 moles of fluorine divided by 17.93 moles. So, if we divide 7.93 over 17.93, we will get 0 0.442 moles of fluorine. So for the last step four, thus the, the, the partial pressure equ is equal to moles, the mole fraction times the total pressure. So we will uh, multiply our moles, mole fraction, which is 0 0.442 times the total pressure which is the 4.8 atm so 0 0.442 times 4.8 is equals to 2.1216 which is equal to the final answer which is 2.12 atm fluorine so the partial pressure of fluorine is 2.12 atm so that is the answer for problem number two so I hope that I've explained my problem well, and thank you for listening.